All right, so this is gonna be another overhead video. This one is going to be covering some new reproductions that I got in. And some of these, if you, that's probably super loud in the, in the microphone. If you've been to any of the shows, then you've probably seen some of these works. But I did get some new ones that I was really excited about. So, Print Keg is really, really good. If you are looking for somebody that can make some affordable reproductions for you, they have always been very, very, very good to me. So the first one I have up is Fives. And this has my 80s days gone by. This is a, an original poem that I did. And it leads to my Instagram account where I kind of cover stuff. It's similar to the playlist, which is here on YouTube as well. That kind of covers 80s days stuff, retro stuff in general, that sort of the thing, collector's stuff. Um, but I got a bunch of these in, so now the next step is going to be signing and bagging all of these. That'll that'll be fun. So this is a, it's a shockwave. Got a couple of him. So freaked out, this thing is going to make way more noise than I want it to. I ordered quite a bit of this one. And uh, let's see here, what's the next one I got? Oh yeah, the next one is my Super Nintendo piece. I actually did this one for Casey Retro, which was a local show. And uh, this one was a lot of fun. I meant to make a sequel piece that was going to be Genesis based, and I haven't really gotten around to it. I did another art piece that I didn't like as much, but this one is prop like, I like the whole outline thing was really fun to do. And I just wanted something that kind of heralded that, you know, that look, but also was modern, I guess. The next one is Soundwave. I love this one. I always wanted to make him bigger and chunkier. There was an unreleased version of him as a toy that I loved, that I really regret that the company wasn't able to get out and, and put out there, but he was this massive version of him. It just looks, this is probably one of my better selling art reproductions. So this is the very much the shadow style thing that I do. Um, had to order quite a few of him. So this is one of my one of my own characters from Ardor. And uh, on the back of these, the backs are different on these. So you can order different backs for different sets depending on what's going on. This is Vanye or um, Urso Vanye or Urso Vane. This is one of the villains. This one, most all the work you're looking at is digital. This is one called Unseen, I believe. Or Unexpected, no, this is not Unexpected Meaning. I think this is Unseen. It's one of the larger creatures, nighttime sky. And then some small headlamps down there on the bottom. These all retail for about $10. And then this one, wow, I am forgetting everybody's name. Um, and some of them were also, honestly, the story behind a lot of this is Initially, this was all video game art. This was all concept art for a video game I was working on on my own. And uh, yeah, so he's another one of these living god type things. Closer on that. If you see that. This is Nettie. This one was one of my favorite ones. I decided to kind of switch up my overall technique and design a little bit more. So this is a combination of traditional and digital work. And uh, Nettie the Possessed is probably one of my favorite characters. I'm still working on how she's exactly fitting into the story, but I am very, very happy with her overall look and design. She's sort of an offshoot of a series I did when I was in college called the Ramhorn Girls. And uh, there's a few characters that kind of carry that through in this. Like this young lady. This is Amiatl, and she is named after a South American deity. Don't want to fuck up the corners. This is the main character right here. Um, and if you read the book, you'll know who that is, but she goes by Lajos eventually in the book. So that's the first box of reproductions. I'm gonna jump ahead here just a bit. So basically what I do before I show you the second package, I tend to lay them out like this, and then I'll jump over here, and then I'll start signing them and lining them 
up this way. The main reason is because especially if they're on a darker background, I sign using one of the Molotow Chrome pens. These things are freaking crazy. I will do a review on these at some point in time later because I, I really wanted to test them out. They can be really great and they can also be a little frustrating, but they're but otherwise they do the job fine. Thanks for watching guys. I sincerely appreciate it so very much. See you next time.